Hey guys, in this lesson we want to talk about some built-in functions that comes with PHP and in the last tutorial where we uh, programmed a compound interest calculator you would have already used the round function right so basically a function has a name has an input and uh, we also call these arguments which are basically inputs into the function so in this case for the round uh, function not only do we need to know what we're rounding what number we're rounding but also how many decimal places you want to round to so there's two input arguments into the round function and as a result we round it and then we output our we output our um, information to the p variable in this case the rounded number so uh, some other types of function that, that I want to talk about uh, today or well, actually let's comment out everything here um, so nothing's gonna display anymore okay so let's start fresh and uh, let's talk about where we can find some more functions now something you can do is go to php.net and go to their manual and within this manual you can find the function reference and the good thing about this is this is like a list of all the possible functions in PHP and there are over thousands of functions in PHP and it's that's it's what makes this language powerful it's built-in functions now obviously we can't we don't have time to talk about all of them but uh, some of the common mathematical functions that I I think would be uh, of interest to you guys um, since recently we've been studying quite a bit of trigonometry I just want to point you guys to the mathematical functions so if you scroll down to mathematical functions and you go into the mathematical functions uh, you can see that here are some quite interesting functions and if you have a look at the cosine function uh, basically all you gotta do is type cosine bracket and whatever uh, angle that you want to find the cosine of and it comes up with the answer so for example I'm gonna put in echo cosine um, of let's say uh, pi radians and pi is obviously a function as well it just gives you uh, 3.14 as the answer so basically this is a function within a function so this function here gives you 3.141 whatever pi is and we put this within the cosine function so this function becomes the input of the cosine function and the output is simply uh, whatever the cosine ratio is and uh, save this I'm gonna refresh my uh, program and it should say negative one yes it's negative one now if you're not sure why that is you probably need to have another look at the periodic functions tutorial uh, have a look at some other uh, mathematical functions you know one of the more interesting ones is uh, log so go into that log and uh, you probably need to have a look at the logarithm tutorials if you if you want to understand what I'm doing but basically a log 
um, has two input arguments. Uh, we have the uh, uh, let's say I have two numbers here. Let's say I have a thousand and ten. Now, basically, what this means is uh, it's asking us, it's asking the program, ten to the power of what number will give you a thousand? And obviously, the answer is three. Right, because 10 times 10 times 10 is a thousand, so the answer should be 3. So, uh, actually, I, I'm just going to echo a br tag just so that it wraps a line from my first answer to my second answer. So, if I refresh this, it gives me 3 as the answer of this function, as the output of this function. Now, obviously, you can store the output in a variable and then display the variable if you wish to do that. Uh, so these are all the mathematical functions, pretty cool. Now um, we can find our round function here. Uh, so that's what we use to round. Now random function is also quite important and basically it gives you a random number and you could also scroll down to the examples so I guess the most common random number that people generate is for a dice for a die uh, let's say I r generate a random number between 1 and 6 and if I refresh that in my program you can see it's generates a new number at the bottom every time I refresh between 1 and 6. Right, so it's a pretty useful function later on if you want to generate random numbers. Okay, now we're going to talk about some common string functions. So in the manual, go back to the function list reference and go back to and click on strings under text processing and there are heaps of functions that you can do on strings and uh, we're just gonna pick uh, some very interesting ones so here make a string uppercase make a string lowercase right sometimes you might do that for some reason so for example, let's say I have a string here, x, I'm going to call it hello. And if you display x, uh, you'll see that it's all uh, small case. Oops, line 32, forgot a semicolon. Always managed to forget that. So it says hello. But if I echo string to lower, bracket x what, what's going to happen is oh sorry string to upper um, you know, and if I display this it turns it into uppercase so you don't actually need to change a variable yourself if you like if you want to display something in uppercase And uh, let's try a more interesting one. Let's try a sub string. So if you click on that, it returns part of a string as the output. So if we do this, if we get rid of this, and if we echo a sub str, and let's let's uh, echo from the second position uh, for a two, for a length of two characters and uh, let's see what happens with that oops doesn't do anything what about this doesn't do anything hang on a second let me figure this out 
So I just made a rookie mistake. I obviously have to put the x variable there, uh, so it so it knows what string to work on. So basically, uh, let's see what happens now. It says one. It says l, right? Because we're going to the second position in this string. Now the first character is actually the zeroth position. So it goes zero, one. Two, so that's the second position, and we're returning one character. So if we return three characters from the second position, it displays L L O. If we display the first from the first position three characters, it displays E L L, and so on. Okay, so hopefully from this tutorial you uh, have learned a little bit about built-in functions in PHP. I'll see you guys again next time.